Yeah. So we're we're totally on the right topic to talk about this. So for, first yeah. of all, we 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 all agree this was like not a very good transition. No, it was uh, obviously not a very we're good we're very no, early and in. And it's super confusing as we were talking about. Yeah, earlier. it is very confusing. Although it although I've enjoyed I've from, enjoyed uh, the confusing emails. Those have been good. What's that? The confusing emails that you can't click on. Yes. Yeah. It's true. It's, Reminds it's, me of uh, moving from Google Chat to uh, Hangouts. No, yes. totally. But this one involves like other third parties. It's not just you on your operating system. Fewer this third parties going, than supported This wallet. is going to Whole Foods and like I have not seen the Android Pay sticker at Whole Foods yet. Maybe it's just the ones I've been to, but they don't know that they can take it, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't know what they know. They haven't told me anything. Like the clerks don't. Oh, they never, they're, they're the okay. last to know. Here's my thing, and I don't mean to upstage Big Jim on his rant because it was a great rant, Big Jim. But what I don't understand Later. is why not just retire Google Wallet and make it Android Pay and then just have the Google Wallet app upgrade uh, and become Android Pay and everything that you do with Google Wallet, you can now do in Android Pay. Why do I have to use two apps, one to buy things at Walgreens with them knowing, not knowing what to do and another app to send you money? Why can't I do, all do that from one Could app? Could it be a carrier thing? Could it be I a carrier thing for the fact that like certain carriers may or may not want to have Android Pay installed on their device or allow it like to operate on their network yeah. and Google still wants the ability to be able to transfer money and do all that kind of peer to peer type stuff so if they have that in a separate app then okay well you can't do the android pay on that phone but you can still at least do this other thing that But I that feel we like that's a use. software problem. So do yeah. so do you know like so so oh android pay doesn't work on Verizon you know and that and you just can't do this functionality like if Verizon then no, you yeah. know, no functionality. Yeah. Like the fact that there are two apps mystifies me, and I don't understand it. And I haven't had, I haven't actually played with Android Pay yet. I haven't tested it yet. I'm planning to this week and this weekend. I've been too busy, but I don't understand why they couldn't just collapse everything in one app and just rebrand the wallet into Android Pay. Some some people in chat room are wondering, um, <laughs> yeah, are basically saying I never have problems with the tap to pay. Uh, so you know, Francisco. maybe it's your device. Come to San Francisco. Why did they remove yeah. Chase? Chase, you can't use Chase anymore with Android Pay. Uh, why can't I use my wallet balance with Android Pay anymore? Uh, as a, uh, I have to add my Google Wallet card in or, and then set it as my primary card in order to use it first. Like, why did they that make all these simple, obvious things? That was confusing too. I had to do the same thing. More difficult in my settings. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, so okay, before we move on though, uh, Flow Samsung Pay. Go. Yeah, so I'm just testing it right now because um, I'm doing a bigger story on it. And um, it's been a really interesting experience. I took it shopping yesterday. I bought some things I probably shouldn't have, but we don't want to <laughs> talk about that. Um, Maybe we do want to talk about that. Science, <laughs> and I got some new clothes and it worked at some of the places I used it at. The, the, I went to um, I went to Forever 21. I went to H&M. And um, <laughs> I just feel so basic saying that out loud. Anyway, it was good. I bought some tank tops and things. And um, the ladies, the lady clerks, they were like, oh, that's not going to work here. And I was like, oh, <laughs> says you, it's magic. And I would hold it there and it'd be like chirp, chirp. And it would work. And they'd be like, wow. And the customers around me were mystified. And I was just getting all cool. this attention. And then I went to Banana Republic. Okay. Then I went to Banana Republic. And they have those weird machines that now take um, the chip so you can uh, toss in your ATM card or whatever with the chip and it'll sit there and read it, um, which is awesome because that's what everybody's, you know, uh, gravitating towards these days. Um, well, and they have I, to. That's a, that's yeah, a, that's a standard. To. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So then I put the, the S6 Edge Plus next to it. It chirped, but then it declined it. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Chirped again, declined it. Chirped again, declined it. The clerk, he says to me, oh yeah, we don't take those here. And I'm like, no, 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 this is supposed to work. This is he different. uses magnets. Don't you know how they work? And then um, it kept declining it. And that was really embarrassing because there's nothing more embarrassing than having your car declined when there's a line of people behind you. So I just took out my uh, old Navy credit card and charged it that way. But then when I went back home, I noticed that first of all, my bank put my uh, card on hold. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> because of Samsung Pay. So actually, I tried to buy an app with it today, and Google Wallet was like, "You need to call your bank," so or whatever Play Store. So I need to do that some someday this week, and it charged me on both my debit card and the old Navy card that I used to pay at Banana Republic. Simultaneously, so like have... same same charge on both. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So it like oh, wow. initially charged it. Um, so I need to 
call, make sure that this charge gets removed because it says it's still processing. So it's possible it could be deleted. No, it probably whatever. yeah. If it's still processing, yeah. probably what happened was is that they 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 ping your account to check it. They, they it's like when you go to the hotel and they they and you they put five hundred dollars on your card. Yeah, that's in a temporary state, and then they oh, they right. zero that's it. That's like that, a that, hold. That, that, that takes a few days. But, but it freaked me out because yeah. I, I went home and I saw like three transactions on there, and sure. you know the one that like I didn't actually pay for with it and it's just a new experience and I also I'm super shy about using my phone mm -hmm. like this in real life because this is not a thing that people do very well, often and and that's um, and that and that's the thing is that we're on we're in like the the top of the second inning or maybe even the yeah. bottom of the first with this you know like it is so early and uh, you've got you've got two big challenges to this entire mobile payment new world that we're going to be in the as you said last week the next generation of mobile, of, of payments mm -hmm. uh flow you've got um archaic financial systems that have been working since the 70s with credit cards and the way they work mm -hmm. and things like that and only now like we're one of the last countries to be moving to the chip standard like yeah. europe has been on that chip for years and that's so secure and all stuff like that. yeah so so we've got that as a big hurdle but then you have an education aspect on with the workers on the front on, on on the on the front lines um you know like we with the example of the walgreens on goff and felsh on, on yeah fell at the, at the corner of fell and goff is there's like, one on every corner <laughs> it's the, yeah exactly but it is it is like the, my nightmare because these people they look at me like i'm crazy when i take my phone out and try to do it and the stores need to be educating their staff on how yeah. that, this is a new technology this is how it works and the amount of rollout between Apple, Google, Samsung, everybody is so anxious to roll this out that if that education doesn't happen, then it's dead in the water because yeah. people have gotten bad experiences like you have. And the one time your card gets charged three times and you can't use your card, stuff like that, you will, you've will you sullied yeah, your experience. That's it. You need to hit, they need to hit a home run on the first try they do it. And that's the big challenge. Um, it doesn't work so. every time either, by the way. Yeah. Like the MST, you have to place it just right on the, the little... A point of sale thingy and you know they're all different they all look different so i don't mm -hmm. know where the magnetic side is on all of the devices and it's different every so that's why i have so much anxiety about it's, using it well think think about this do you flow do you use um do you print out your boarding pass or do you use a boarding pass I on use, your phone i use the app Okay. I use the app and it's it's never an issue but right it's never no hang on it's it's it. never it's never an issue now I remember flying five, six years ago, and you pull out your phone with that barcode, yeah. and, the, and the, the TSA sure. agent looks at you like you're crazy. It's yeah, all It's true. literally, I just noticed it a couple of, like, maybe three or four flights ago, that just this year, does it seem like everybody's cool with this now? Yeah. Like, no, you're just right. this yeah, year. Right, yeah, and it's been mm -hmm. years for that to adapt. So, yeah. That's true. That's true. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Well, we all okay. ranted there. So. It's okay. Well, it's This is a new thing, and I'm yeah. going to keep playing with it and using it and spending money. And... um. Yeah, I, 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 spending, but I think what you're pointing out the the challenge with Samsung Pay in my mind I was like, man, Loop Pay seems like the the winner, you know, as far as like compatibility yeah. and ease of use and mm -hmm. all that. But you pointed out a couple of challenges. One, you don't know exactly where to tap it. Yeah. Uh, two, they don't know that you're capable of wireless uh, payment, so they're confused like because they're like, well, we don't support that, yep. and so there is no like official way to go about it. You're basically saying. Don't worry, I got a hack and it's cool. Just trust me. And that's kind of a strange position to be in. And and also you've got you've got staff like I mean honestly, if you think about it, and this is a society problem, a lot of the staff working in retail or at restaurants or whatever are, you know, there's a large percentage of them that are disenfranchised and there's a large percentage of them that are just punching the clock and it's just a job. I was at a mm -hmm. restaurant in New York City where I pulled out the coin and before I even had it half out of my wallet, the waitress is like, "Nope." And I was like, oh, no, it works. She's like, yeah, no, no, we, we, we need a regular credit card. I'm not trying. I'm not even trying that. Yeah, that's the problem well, I'm the encountering. Coin. Yeah, with a like, coin. Yeah. Now, now I mean, she was probably right because I've had about a 50% success rate with that yeah, thing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's a coin. So, you know, she's got yeah, a legit Yeah, but it's weird to, to hand somebody your phone to take it like to the back of the counter where yeah. the little cash, the little credit machine is and be like, hey, do you mind holding up my phone, you know, next to your cash machine until it works? Yeah. Never mind this line of people behind me also trying to get coffee. It just is this. Is, well, yeah, and it's interesting because you talk about because like, you're, you're talking from a retail standpoint, and now, yeah. Brandon, like I mentioned, restaurants. Like, have you ever gone out to dinner in London, for example? When you go out to dinner in the UK, when they come with a check, 
and then you show your credit card, they leave and come back with a little terminal to yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that makes it a little more thing. But here with us, mm -hmm. you've got to, you're going to give your phone. I know, to, right? To, right? I mean, like, yeah. so many of these processes have to change for this to work, and it's yeah. so early.